Okay, guys, we're back at it with the last stand aftermath going into part two uh, where we finished off on the last video. We had just gone past a safe house area and now we're making our way further into the game. We found some more gasoline and all that. So we're, we're looking pretty good so far. This is my very first run of the game with my first survivor here and uh, things are going well. I built a, uh, a makeshift suppressor for this handgun and we have you know a whole bunch of stuff going on here in general uh, i am really enjoying this game so i wanted to come back and play more of it today and get more videos out to you guys uh, we are at a safe house here so that's looking good uh looks like we can use this to actually call back and transmit knowledge but i don't know if we have enough to actually level anything up we can get this to level two for minus five melee stamina cost so that might be worth it. Uh, door kicking damage. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be, but perhaps we'll take it just for the heck of it. Anyways, guys, if you haven't already, leave a like uh, on the video. So that way YouTube will put it in front of more eyeballs and get some more new people within our community. I really appreciate it. I think when we get to 3000 subscribers, we're going to uh, do a bit of a Q&A video. So that way we can all get to know each other a little bit better. Now, you know, I'll keep your eye on the community tab and you guys can submit your questions there when we hit that mark and all that stuff and we'll get that going. That'll be a good time, I think. Uh, throw distance is good. Let's see, we can't really do much of anything. First aid, 10% healing benefits, that might be good, but I'm not really feeling the heat of having to heal too much right now. Improvised shotgun recipe. I'm going to take that. We're going we're gonna to take the improvised shotgun recipe, improvised SMG comes later, and then a flamethrower. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good, pretty good place for us to be there. All right. We found more gas here. Let's fuel her up. Oh, it's full. We can't fit any more in. The max for this car is five, huh? Well, I guess we will not be taking this. It's too bad we can't throw in the back seat or something or in the trunk. And we got that. 20 supply gained. Oh, we open up that. Plastic bottle. We'll take it. Looks like we just get some materials out of the deal here. There's a workbench as well. Oh. I guess I should have should have taken that. We only have five points. Can't really transmit any knowledge with this. Yeah. All right. This is fine. This is fine. We learned how to make an improvised shotgun. Actually, let's look at the recipe real quick so we know. Let me see. A can and firearm parts. We have to find a firearm parts to make this happen, but... I don't see that in and of itself being too difficult to actually do. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and carry on out of here. Let's get to the next area. Kind of like the idea of the safe house. Uh, we have suburbs and then a supply cache on Warhill Way. Hmm. a hospital symbol i wonder if there's an actual hospital there this has a higher danger level as well it's two this is only one i think we're gonna go to the suburbs here just for the sake of making the experience a little bit nicer on our first run through here we'll see what happens i'm just trying to get through you know want to make it to the uh the wall get some food back to the survivors all right let's see what we have question marks everywhere let's go tackle this side first oh, hold on not that oh that's a boomer guy right there he's gonna explode uh does glass make noise 
I keep hitting C for crouch. That's not it at all. I see some zombos in there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in. You guys aren't gonna see me, yeah? Okay, good job. Uh he just saw me. Oh, you know what is well? I'm actually getting really low. I don't have any other melee weapon right now, and this crowbar is on a 13 durability. I need to find more melee weapons. That's going to be a problem in the, the very near future here. Maybe some first aid here. Bandages and painkillers. Sweet. Maybe some clean water. Nice. There's some gasoline over there. I can see it by the dumpster. Oh, there's a pocket knife. Okay. You are encumbered. When you carry more than your backpack weight limit, you become encumbered. While encumbered, you will burn through your max stamina rate at two times the normal rate. As a result, you need a, you'll need much more food and water in order to keep your stamina up. Oh, boy. First aid guides and bandages. That zombie's trying to break in. A med kit. He's going to break that any second now. Um, Let's dispose of some of this stuff here. Where do I see? Okay, the encumbered symbols right down here. Just need to lose some stuff. Even with all the melee weapons I burned through, it just wasn't enough apparently. Dispose of a brick. Got a whole bunch of clean water we could use. Let's eat rusty canned food. Apparently, that was a bad idea. This guy knows I'm here, but he's not sure where I am exactly. Okay. Got rid of him. Well, let's use the fish here. Nice, gaining some stamina back. Feels good. Delicious. And we're back at normal weight, but we need to burn something more here. Not burn something, but get rid of something a little more here. What does infected blood sample do? Taken from a heavily mutated infected, it could be used for research. Okay, well, I'll probably just hold on to that then. And then this, we're just going to dispose of this canned food here. I don't want to, I don't want poison again. We have painkillers. These bricks are really heavy. The canned meat's even heavier. We have a whole bunch of it. Okay. We're good for the moment. The zombie's got like a stake through it or something. All right, I guess we can go over here and try to grab this and then make our way back to the car. There's a lot of zombies here. Trade catalog. Get him out of here. This crowbar hits very hard. Okay, that zombie walked away. They're over there now. Oh, they're coming inside. Now right, we're gonna have to kill this zombie too. We're gonna give it a uh, a shot. Oop! I missed. Wait. Oh, that scared me. Okay, broken nerve. Ninety nine. Minus ninety nine percent flinch. Flinch chance. You don't even realize you're being hit. You fight through. You don't even flinch. Twenty five percent XP gain and then ten percent stamina. Go with flinch.
I'll do it, man. Okay, that's uh, some very strong glass, apparently. Does he even see me? Okay, okay. Okay. I think it's getting spicy out here, and I don't like it. We're gonna get rid of some of these guys. Oh god, oh god. That's a very tanky zombie. Will you die? <laughs> Just dealing out bullets like candy here. Get out of here. Oh, that's not good noise. Sorry, right, we need a little bit of an inventory cleanse anyway. Okay, burn some bullets. How's my inventory looking? We only uh, we only lost one one weight, so infected blood sample there. All right, we just killed a whole bunch of zombies. Let's go ahead and fill her up here. Very nice. We are full, and now couple more things this way I just use like half my ammo there it's kind of wild I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm trying to click on their heads and it's best to just aim at the body it looks like more gas right there all right now we're going to try to not spend so much ammo. What's this? Empty. I do need no more uh, melee weapons. Exercise book. Okay. Just in case you didn't know how to exercise, we're going to, you know, show you. There you go. There you go. Not really sure what we can do with the gas. We're already full up on gas, so. Not really sure of the value of carrying this around. There's a kitchen knife, we'll take it. Ah, yes. Door kicking. Very good. Let's let it fire. Not sure what lighting the fire actually does for us, but, uh, yeah. Okay, these zombies are... They have no idea. They just, they're just so clueless. Oh, this guy's not. Alright, I might have given a bit of a clue as to where I am and what I'm doing after that shot, so we're gonna get out. The car won't start. Okay, predicament. The engine is uh, not doing so well here. What can we do about it? We just go and press E. The engine is actually on the grill. All right, looking good. We can go. Very nice. All right, I'm out of here. Only did a couple things there, but we're leaving now. Now we have to go to the neighborhood, Washington Ave. This one has the two skulls. Instead of just one, so it's going to be a little more difficult.
Nothing we shouldn't be able to handle, though. Should. Should. I don't want to, like, mark myself for death here. Bessie One, do you copy? This is Bessie One. The numbers on the device we found. It's not a code. It's a radio frequency. I've managed to find the frequency, but I can't make anything out. The signal is too weak. Someone is out there broadcasting. We just need to boost that signal. Someone? I know it's hard to believe. We've had no contact outside the wall for years. We have to find out who it is. And what it has to do with this device. Boosting the signal? Well, the old maps show a prominent hill that is in line with the direction of the source. It looks like it's an old military zone. If I'm right, there's a radio tower there. Could help relay the signal back here to the colony. Okay, great. So I'll activate it. That's the problem. It's outside the dead zone. And? And council simply won't allow anyone beyond the wall. Colony rules still apply to us here, even with what we do. We're not allowed to pass the wall. But I'll see what I can do. Alright, so they're trying to play, like... Play politics with a wall, I guess. Alright, so we have three question marks. Let's go towards the two first this time. Haven't found any antiviral recently either. No, we're very hidden in the tall grass. I see this bag. Some tape. How nice. Alright, we can crouch through here. What's this that we can grab? Flowers? Okay, there's a boomer boomer guy here. Blue honey flower. Some gas right there. Taking this bag. Don't see me. I'm just, you know, creeping along. It's fine. All right, 25 supplies gained. We saw the gas over there already. We're not really in need of it for this run, and I don't know if it carries over to the other runs, so we're just going to leave it there for now and discover what this other question mark is. Do you see me? Yeah, he sees me. All right. Oops. The old execution. Alright, it's a fire thing. Still not certain what they do for me. I don't know if it's inside or on the other side of the building. What's that about? Like a little poison area. You don't see me, okay? Look at that, guys. He didn't see me. He's walking in here. Maybe he did see me. Sawn off 12 gauge. Alright, this crowbar is about spent. Let's see. Get rid of that. Do we have any ammo for it? I think I found some shotgun ammo earlier. I did. So we have a little bit for it. Alright, let's get rid of... The bricks. That helps a lot right there. The bricks are very heavy. I'm so glad I got involved in Civil War reenacting. The skills I learned from this in the 70, 79th Militia have helped me greatly, especially when it comes to food. The motto we eat are... Dead used to be a figurative meaning. Hard times demanded we take it literal. With the rice seasonings, even your friends can taste good. 79th Cozy Mess Steward. Yikes. Oh, a cleaver. We take those. I'm over encumbered again. Damn it. Damn it. How about we eat some canned meat? 
delicious. Some of the stuff weighs nothing. Canned meat's so heavy. We have all this stuff that weighs nothing. We're just uh, not able to carry a whole lot. This crowbar is going to let up with five once it breaks, though. So there's that. And it might be about to break because these guys see me. That door is so jammed they can't get out. This virus is killing me, quite literally. No, you see me, but you're stuck up there, so, you know. Let's light a fire. And I guess we just kind of move on to the next area. We can explore a little more, but I want to make sure that we can do the final area before the survivor dies. And we are getting pretty low on health here, so... There you go. We're leaving. All right, crowbar is broken. We're moving on to the HERC blockade on Davis Street. It's got three difficulty. Might get a little tough here. Radar, do you copy? Yeah, this is buzzard. Hey, why is the tracker showing you at the range of the wall? Because I'm at the wall. I can barely hear you. Did you say you're at the wall? Because the good council doesn't want us going out there. You know that trinity. It's my order, buzzard. Get off the line. We need to get out there to find supplies. I don't have time for your shit. We can explain it to the council later. Volunteer, can you even get past the gates? I'm not sure. Hey, it's Radar. You can do it. We did some recon on this exit a few years ago. The gates are powered by huge generators, one for each side of the gates. Once you power those and throw the gate levers, you should be good to go. Good luck. Alright, so our mission is to get through this door. All right, hold on. We need to equip another melee weapon. We have this cleaver, a kitchen knife, and a pocket knife. Let's throw on the kitchen knife. These guys are looking a little more armored, aren't they? All right, stench. Let off the same odors of that of the infected, making them less likely to attack. Your attempts to be stealthy will be more successful. 10% stamina, and then dodging reload your weapon at the cost of 15% of extra da dodge stamina cost. Let's go with stench. Let's see if that actually does anything for me. Okay, that guy is armored. Yeah. That guy is actually wearing armor. Oh my god. <laughs> the kitchen knife just broke. That didn't last very long, did it? Okay. We got this thing here. So let's go uh let's go this way. Let's see what we got. Give me this. Some hog roots. Looks like we actually need to get inside here. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we can actually sneak through this. Oh no. Yeah, that guy. Uh, Wanda's dead right away. Let's 
Seven, six, two rounds. Okay. Gonna find some assault rifles and stuff here soon, it looks like. Or at some point. Those guys are hugging. So far, this stench hasn't really been helpful. This guy's got body armor on. He's walking around at me at breakneck speed. Oh, shoot. Good thing I got, uh, oh, I failed my reload. I think I got tons of ammo and stuff. Oh, shoot. Hey. Apparently walked right into it because I'm stupid. Okay, I need to heal immediately. But I don't think I'm going to be able to survive this. I think I might be dead here, guys. Um, Yikes. That poison's doing a lot of damage to me right now. Where are my bandages? There they are. Yeah, I died. Okay, there it is. Jasper's down. Jasper's down. 50 minute run time. Okay, it wasn't a bad first run. You know, we made it to the wall. Unfortunately, we couldn't get through because the I, I didn't realize I stepped close enough to get poisoned. That's my mistake. Oh, well. I was hoping the bandage would be a little bit faster, but... Okay, Olivia Lee, medic loadout. We have a knife, med pack, and what appears to be a handgun. Then we have Caitlin Lowe, who has a rifle, a board, and then water. And then Jose Ocampo, who has a wrench, some parts here, another handgun. Let's take this rifle. Colonist loadout. Let's see. Ambrose. Oh, it's a shotgun. That's fine. Uh, we have a board, some clean water. And then, oh, we actually do keep the knowledge. Okay, I thought the knowledge, if we dropped it, would just kind of go away forever. Okay. Well, let's get out there. Let's do it again. If you've made it this far in the video, guys, do me a favor and leave a like on it. So that way YouTube will put it in front of more eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. This game's really enjoyable. Something that I can see myself playing at random whenever. That's the beauty of roguelites and roguelikes. You can just kind of pick up and play them whenever. Have a few runs. Have a good time. I really enjoy that aspect of these, this type of game. There's uh, a lot of near limitless gameplay. Okay, there's an AK-47, uh, G-17, and M-1911. Yup. Is that our gas right there? It is. I feel like if I fire the shotgun, though, it's going to cause hell. Good amount of fuel in there. Alright, I made one of them mad, it looks like. 
Come here. Eat the board, sir. Eat board. And okay, we got two out of that. Uh, what else? There's something over that way. Let's see if we can find something. None of you see me. It's fine. We're all friends here. I found an AK-47 right away, too. And I found 762 rounds on the last run. That's interesting. All right, this is urgent care. Is that what I'm looking for? That bag right there? It is. We're gonna go inside here anyway. Maybe find some healing stuff. Bandages and painkillers. Perfect. I did see clean water over there as well. Oh! Oh! You're just kind of coming on in, huh? Yeah, this board's going to break. Oh, I can't actually do anything with the water. Okay. Okay, dude. Ah, shoot. It's not loaded? We just go out there without it loaded? Oh, this is just amazing, dude. Phenomenal. We just go out there without a loaded shotgun. Damn it. Okay, hold please. Bandages. I'm not sure how to use the bandages on the fly here. Use. Heal up, dude. That's on me. I should have known that it wasn't loaded. It wasn't the last time either. That's something I'll have to keep in mind. Always remember to reload your weapons before going out there, guys. Always. <laughs> Denied that guy. All right, let's load up, and then we're uh, we're just gonna leave. Yep, we are leaving. All right, large neighborhood, and then neighborhood on the Warhill Way. Another large neighborhood over there. Let's go. Let's go to this one. It's fine. I can't believe that just happened. Okay, um, let me see if I can figure this out. How do I use my active item? That, I did it again, guys. I did that, I did that again. Ah, uh, stop using the T key. Let me look up the controls. Damn it. All right, keyboard. Which weapon? Cycle pocket items is three. How do we use pocket items? Use consumable. Consumable when equipped is G. Right, I, I, I should have looked right there. I'm not, like, I'm, I'm so used to playing FPS games, and I, I expect G to be grenade. So when it's something more than that, it's just very confusing to me. It's not something I uh, am very used to at all.
All right, let's see this. Swap that there. That guy didn't handle that very well. He had a knife in his pocket, though. Yeah, go get it. Yeah. Nice. Don't look at me. Anything cool in here? Some nine mil rounds. Just want to get the big guy away from me, if I'm honest. That's all I cared about. See some gas over there. Some scrap on this guy. I really need to go down here. I need to stop using my antiviral as well. This is like such a stupid thing that I do. Hey. something about punching zombies man I right, found more shotgun shells that's big we're gonna try to go all the way around I'm sure we're gonna we're going to attract the attention of at least one of them Yep, yep, yep. This pocket knife is one-shotting these guys. What the heck? Little Swiss Army knife doing the work. See that generator there, and it has the skulls on it. So this is going to uh, alert every zombie in the area, it looks like. Let's do it. Oh my loud. Alright, can broadcast. I need batteries, apparently. Cardio, cardio, cardio. Oh, board. Click, click. Almost out of shotgun shells. Just die, man. Ah, that guy. Classic that guy moments. Yes, love it. Awesome. Oh, you. This probably wasn't even worth it as well. It's really unfortunate. Well, let's just transmit. Uh, we have 13, it looks like. Get some more movement speed, melee stamina cost. Throw distance, pistol damage, reload speed. Yeah, we're gonna go with uh, reload speed here. 
We reload so slow. Okay, we found a machete in there. That's kind of, kind of sweet. Is there a crafting table in here? Remember there being a way we could make batteries, but we need an actual crafting table to do it. We have scrap. I don't. I think we need electronics though, and I don't have any of that right now. Unfortunately, this is here, and I can't do anything to open these boxes. There's probably some real cool, cool stuff in here. Some cool weapons or something. Machete's damaged, so it's not going to last very long. All right. Let's take the brick. I guess we're leaving. That sucks that it was really not worth it. We just kind of used some resources. Wasn't worth the transmit, man. We only have one shotgun shell left and I need fuel. Got a big guy over there who apparently is now looking at me. This run is looking a little cursed. What can we do about these, uh, these things here? Painkillers heal over time. That's stamina. What is the blue honey flower? Very small amount of stamina after being consumed. Okay. Just didn't know what, what it did. About half full, so we're going to get just one out of that, it looks like. I get in through the window? I can. Oh, some more shotgun shells. Sweet. Some more stuff. Does anyone know what the fires do? If anything? We light them, but we, they don't really seem to do much for me. A little confused about what they do, because they're like... It'll point them out, but I'm not quite sure what it does. I'm not sure if it mentioned it earlier in the game and I just completely missed it, or what? I need to refuel the car, and we're just going to uh, get the heck out of here. I don't like it here anymore. I just opened up that... Uh, that room and just wasted resources feels bad oh we are getting two out of this okay sweet i'm out all right let's go to the other neighborhood here Not feeling so good about this run. See a big guy over here. Lots of stuff to do here. Okay. First things first, though. We need to worry about healing. My health is not looking good. I mean, we have painkillers. I guess we can use those. Just get some health regen over time. I see this bag. That scares me every time. Increased heart rate makes you feel more alive, restores you to max health, will not remove infection. And then we have 50% melee damage, but less movement speed, and then 10% stamina. Let's just go heartbeat. Just heal me, dude. It's kind of a waste on the painkillers, though, huh? Kind of a waste on the painkillers there.
Here we got that. Something over this way. A battery. Perfect. Can I go back? I see gas. Also, I see a toilet. Can I use the toilet, please? Oh, God. Okay. Stop. <laughs> I guess he stopped. Okay. Recon photos, 45 cal. One gasoline. Something's locked over this way. Do tell more. This. Hmm. So we need to find a key of sorts, maybe? Maybe we can find it back here somewhere behind the building. Maybe in this zombie's pocket. That's locked as well, it looks like. The zombie didn't drop anything. So we're finding some interesting things, but I just can't do anything about it. I wonder if we search around the area, if we could find a key. I'm going to try. That zombie sees me. We have a brick. blood sample. This machete's about to break, too. Oh, man. I want to see what's in there so much. This says it's just not happening. Need to find a clue as to what we can do to get in there. I mean, it looks like it's just... See, maybe a padlock there? Is it in the mailbox? No. Is it in the trunk of this car? No. Maybe it's in the big guy's pocket, but I don't really want to fight the big guy. So we're just going to... We're going to go to this other question mark and see uh, what that is. There's an ambulance here. Any stuff in the ambulance? Yeah, some. Cool. All right, this is a fire again. We're over encumbered. Get rid of the bricks. Muzzle break for a rifle. Nice. Can we throw that on the AK? Nope, not what I wanted to do. Uh, looks like we can't actually modify it here. Also, we don't need two G17s. I would very much like to find a key, man. Attachments. Equip. AK, there it is. Okay. So that's on there now. 
ZPS and AK is 500 too. We just need to find 762 for it. What kind of ammo do we have? 45 caliber and 9 millimeter. This is 9 millimeter. This is 45 caliber. It's also 9 millimeter. Uh, if these are both 9 millimeter, I'm going to go ahead and keep the G17. Because they do both do the same flat damage, but this holds more ammo. So it's just kind of not worth holding on to this. Just taking up space in my inventory. The AK and the shotgun are both pretty heavy in their own right. I'm just going to get rid of one of these boards for now. All right, you know what? The machete is going to break soon. I got one more, uh, one more thing to it, so. I love that the last hit was a crit. Oh, there's a toolbox in there. I don't know if I searched that or not. I just wanted to kick a door again. All right, it's empty. All right, so we just have that uh, supply crate over there behind the locked door. I guess we just go around punching zombies for a minute. Ow. Just punch that wall. Let's just see, for science, what happens when we clear out the area. See if we can find a key somewhere in the area. I don't think we will. I think it's something you just have to bring here. You have to, like, stumble across a key and then bring it. And she's got hands. Zombie fight club out here. All right, I don't think we're going to be able to clear out all these zombies with just our fists. If we can get them one at a time, we can. There's another machete. All right, let's equip a board. Let's go to town. Hey, big guy. How you doing? You know what's funny is I smacked the big guy a couple times and he still just kind of didn't react for a moment. <laughs> just the the sm the like the wet smack of the fists against those zombies bloody faces man it's just that's a that, that's one hell of a noise one hell of a noise nothing still nothing man i'm in need of keys Another Torin, some records. Let's take that and that. We don't need the Torin. Hello, neighbors. Yep. Taking your your ammo. Taking your ammo as well. Okay, uh, let's put a board on. Let's break it over some zombie faces, apparently. Hey. There you go. Yep. 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 God, dude. Oh, you're still alive. I didn't know you're still alive. Okay. 
All right, fifty percent aimed damage. Vision's fading, closing into a point, but giving you more your aim, more focus. And then twenty percent, twenty-five percent melee damage. Do more damage with both your fist and melee weapons you wield. Yep. We're already giving the beat down, man. Let's continue. Stop it. I hate that it hurts my max stamina here. I need to let my stamina regen a little bit. I'm just trying to see if any of these guys will have any keys or anything. No, they just got rags. All they have is like rags and ammo, which the ammo's good. The ammo's good. Lots of batteries. Could have used them in the last area. That would have been nice. Forty-five caliber rounds. A frying pan? Yup. Taking that. <laughs> Enjoy that. <laughs> okay, those guys are all dead. Now, how about some food? We haven't found any food, have we? Let's just use the water. Get our stamina back up a little bit. Frying pan does 20 damage. Or no, it has 20 durability, rather. Sorry. That's a big boy weapon right there. Looks like these zombies respawn. That's a thing. So I can't imagine they're going to have anything of too much importance when it comes to... Uh... Okay, unequip. That. Unequip, please. Thank you. There we go. The dispose option wasn't there for me for a minute. Oh, we found a Molotov at some point. Didn't even realize. Okay. So it's not looking like we're going to find what we're looking for here as far as a key. I think we're just kind of out of luck when it comes to actually getting in there, unfortunately. Unless we can just take the shotgun to it. If we can just blast it, you know, I mean, let's just try. Um, unintended. Yeah. Locked tight, not happening. Shotgun just doesn't do anything for it. Ah, uh, why? Why did I even try? Why did I not just roll? Pain. Lots of pain. All right, thorns. Protrusions burst forth from your skin, providing a line of revenge for those that attack. Enemy attacks have a chance causing them, that cause them to suffer the bleed effect. 25% uh, melee attack speed, and then deal 10% damage to enemies with less than 30% health. Frenzy it is. I'm so sad that I can't find a key right now. It's just the way she goes. All right. I don't have enough to make it to the strip mall. We can make it here and then find more gas to go to the strip mall after, though. Strip mall looks like it could be fun. But with that said, guys, let's get to this next area.
out of fuel. Lots of stuff over that way, so let's get to it. What I need to do here as well with ranged weapons, let's go ahead and uh, unequip the shotgun here. Put on the G17. No, not dispose of. Equip. Here. Nice. And then we need to reload before we do anything. Heck yeah. Now we have a full handgun with a good amount of ammo. Another battery to use somewhere. Take the book and the tape. I just took something I didn't intend to take. What is this for? Is uh, the G17 45 or 9 mil? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on, actually. In this slot. Because the ammo takes up uh, some weight as well. And apparently we have a whole bunch of 45 cal that needs spending. So let's get to work on that. Hey guys. <laughs> hey, a pocket knife. Okay, some food and stuff. Let's take it all. Family photos. Over encumbered again. This is uh quite the thing. Let's use the water. And then some bandages. Get our health back. And we're still overweight. My god. Yeah, we're just going to go uh, smack some things with a knife, I guess. Just break it. So I guess the key thing is here is I don't need to worry so much about just collecting items. I just need to uh, get the important things. Where are you going? There you go. Oh, there's a whole lot of stuff here. Well, let's go ahead and activate the beacon. Get them supplies going. I need gas. I see gas right there. What are you doing, man? Another knife. Warning label HRC T110 or T10 rather. Homeland Environmental Risk Control Automated Defense System. 
caution sensors will assess all humanoids as viable targets unless an active ir beacon is present all right so we found something like that earlier too and it just did nothing for like nothing at all uh so i don't know what the dealio is there we found a cookbook though so maybe it's just something to do with this here i don't know there's a big guy over there Let's go this way, go around the house, since he's kind of curious as to what's going on that way. Okay. Our drive. Shotgun shells. Okay, it's about half full, so it's only got one. Crafting bench here, though. Some scrap. Okay, let's see. What do we have recipes for? We have a bottle suppressor. Let's go ahead and uh, craft that. We have bandages. I haven't found firearm parts. I wonder if we can make firearm parts. I noticed there's a gear in there. And then scrap. Firearm parts. Nice. And we need a can for that. I threw away a can earlier, so that's unfortunate. But just wanted to make sure that we knew how to make that at least. So now we do. That's pretty cool. An alcohol and bandages for a med kit. Okay, so apparently we just created weight by doing that. I I don't know how I feel about that specifically. Uh, just because, you know, when you put two things together, unless there's a chemical reaction in general, it's not going to just create weight out of nothing. Just not how it works. Um, and alcohol and bandages are not going to react chemically, at least not immediately. So it's like, I don't know. I don't like, I don't, I don't think I like that idea where it just creates weight. I understand that med kits are very useful, so they have to have some type of drawback, but it just doesn't make sense, man. Um, apparently that can make something. Uh, let's remove this stuff. How about that and then scrap? What does that make? Just a regular M1911. So it got rid of the whole damaged idea. Interesting. AK and scrap as well. Just kind of makes it so it's better. Nice. We've got a lot of scrap. Let's just repair all of our firearms here. Bandages and alcohol for that. Yes, of course. I just did that a moment ago. Just looking to see if there's anything else that we can do. Gear and scrap. That's firearm parts. Tape and plastic bottle makes that. Tape and scrap. What's that make? Melee parts. So we can repair items, apparently. Kind of keep things together. Interesting. Interesting. Let's do that again. So now what we can try to do is dispose of this. Maybe we could try to like rep repair the frying pan when it gets too low. Bring it back in line. Attachments, bottle suppressor. Put it on the G17. That's still on the AK, right? Now it is. Oh, it, went, it came off of the other AK because uh, we fixed it.
Use a bandage. All right, nice little crafting sash. Hey, guys. I guess we can just go. No real point in staying here. Now we go to the strip mall. Yup. Let's see if this place has anything cool going on. Question mark over this way. Let's go figure that out first. Uh, hello? Not sure why I wasn't hitting them there, but... Yeah, we have a crafting bench here. I wonder if we can craft anything with that. I didn't think about that till now. All right, the way he growled, I thought maybe he saw me. No, it doesn't appear as a item to craft with. Unfortunate. Firearm parts and can improvise shotgun. We have what we need to make that, but I'm not going to right now. All these guys see me. All right, let's go inside, shall we? Let's see what we got. Besides, lots of zombies. Lots of zombies. This is locked, so gotta kick it in. There's nothing in here. These guys are going to break this down. Yikes. Oh, the noise is very appropriate, by the way. Very appropriate. Ooh. Attacks rip and tear at the flesh of your enemies. You have a chance to inflict the bleeding effect on your targets. 50% healing effectiveness, minus 50% stamina item effectiveness, and 10% stamina overall. Jagged it is. We have a jagged... Frying pan. Clunk. That guy's like in the wall. Weird. Contaminated water. What are we going to do with that? Ugh. The stuff I'm looking for is actually not inside the building. <laughs> These little guys are harder to aim at. There's also a lot of them here.
<laughs> the noise, man, it's too good. Scientific white paper. These zombies see me, but they're slow. Gas. Barely any in this can. This is a military vehicle. A cleaver. Ooh, this wrench has a lot of durability. We're going to take that. Antiviral. Nice. Well, I guess that's it for this area. Sketch pad. We need to find a uh, beacon thing to call in. We have 27 points to spend right now. It's pretty good. All right. About my pockets, though. Man, I don't want to, but that AK is really weighing me down without actively using it. All right. The frying pan's going to go. Unequip. Dispose. And we're good. We can go. All right, we can go to the clinic or the compound. Kind of want to go to the compound. Let's do it. That zombie just got ran over. Survivors like us built compounds to protect themselves. Most fell to the infected or to raids from rival groups. It's like the walking dead out here. All right. All right. Let's use the antiviral here. Oh, it won't let me, will it? Oh, there we go. Freeze that for a minute. Well, let's go ahead and repair this. So we're not kind of stuck doing it later. Well, it's a, it's a boomer guy. Oh, shoot. Ah, dang it. That's kind of annoying. Come on, man. Try to take pills. Another boomer guy, too. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> We're alive. Man. Good as new, it says. I doubt it, but, you know. Okay, what we're going to do here is put on this cleaver. Use it till it breaks. We got some gas over there. Something going on back there. Not quite sure what it is. A flare gun and flare cartridges. What is this going to do for me? Time to light up an area and make some noise. So I guess it's just kind of to distract. Yeah, let's just dispose of it for now. I feel like it's just to distract, kind of like throwing bottles or something. I can see the usefulness, but the weight of it, I don't know. A better cleaver, man.
gas station has gas inside of it. Oh, it's a board. Rick's Rolls. Nice poster. Rick's Rolls. I think these zombies might see me. Yeah, they're following me. Get him out of here. Stop it. All right, well, it's two. This looks like a basement over there. Yeah. Basements tend to have all right stuff. So let's see if we can get in there. right there I need a code ah where would one find a code maybe on some sheet of paper somewhere I think of the obvious like RPG thing so if we if we need a key we need a code it's got to be somewhere in the vicinity right but I don't know if it is that's the thing I don't know if it is I see that crate back there I squeeze out the back sure can MRE and painkillers let's just activate the beacon get more supplies What the heck? Okay, those zombies are just teleporting and shit. Look at them go. Oh my god. Weird bug. Just zooming on through. I see some uh, question marks over this way. Damn it. Kitchen knife. Don't need it. Some more gas. And then another fire. Okay, so we have the supply bag. Let's take that to the trunk real quick. I don't know. I... I don't know what the stipulation is to get the code. Maybe we find it later on by doing a task as well as a key and that ends up being a thing. Maybe we have to take a specific path and we find something somewhere specific and we can bring it further on with us. Maybe it's something that specific. A hatchet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can we just... All right, so and actually to order... Oh, man, I was hoping that we could uh, just, like, use them manually to repair instead of having to go to, a, like, a crafting station. Um, was that a trap? A wrench and some salt. Let's take the salt, I guess. Hatchet doesn't mess around.
Man, I don't know. I feel really bad leaving something like that behind because it'd be really cool to get in there. But if, I mean, if there's just nothing that we can do to actually do it, nothing seems obvious in order to actually just find a code here anywhere. These guys are swimming in midair. Yeah, I don't really know where I'd find a code for this. It's kind of depressing because it'd be really cool to get in there and check it out. Those guys are still bugged. Yeah, we got nothing. Looks like I need a code. just can't think of where I'd find a code. The only thing I can really think is that we have to find something along the way, you know, via one of the paths and we pick it up and then we just bring it along with us until we find some place to use it. And so we're off. Military outpost, huh? What's that money symbol? Maybe we can sell things. I see lots of zombies over here. What the heck is this vehicle? All right, I know uh, this should have a thing in the back, right? Antiviral, maybe? An MRE. Mikhail. Welcome, friend. My name is Mikhail. What brings you to this wonderful wasteland? Looking for supplies. Oh, maybe I can help with that. I collect things. Valuable things that might be useful to you. But I'm really looking for things from the old world, you know? Like what? Anything that carries knowledge. Old books, hard drives, even personal notes. If you find those, I can give you some things to survive. Sounds good. Are you always here? No, I move around a bit. I'm sure you'll see me around. Let me show you what you've... Let me show you what I've got. Oh, an M16. Okay. So there is 556 in the game as well. He's got a grenade even. He's got 556 five, rounds. You should spend knowledge for this stuff. Acquire for 15, and then we can get a whole bunch of ammo. 150 count for 15 as well. We're just one shy of being able to do that. Interesting. We can sell the AK for knowledge. I think I'm going to. Not because I plan. I don't, I don't want to buy the uh, the weapons. My this character is kind of close to death, so I'm not looking to go crazy here. Blood samples sell for one each. Interesting, the honey flowers sell really well, one each. You just kind of find them all over. Let's sell that. I'm just gonna sell the shotgun too. Screw it. Alright, there's nothing here for me otherwise. The battery costs 20. Holy. Alright. There's a whole lot of stuff here that we can work on getting. Oh, you see me, huh? What are those guys doing? They're tweaking out. All right, there's a generator there and a bag in there. There's going to be a broadcast thing in there, too. Oh, yeah.
That guy's armored. Of course he is. Oh. Reload, dummy. I should have bought a grenade. His arm just fell off. All right, out of ammo on that one. Just die, man. All right, we still got a whole bunch of zombies there. I would think that this buys us a little bit of space. I just found 762 rounds. Of course, I found that after I sold the AK, guys. Doesn't that make perfect sense? My luck on that right now. Unreal. <laughs> My luck in video games is not the best. There you go, buddy. That's for you. More five, five, six as well. One of the fire just serves as a distraction. No. These guys don't look very distracted, do they? It's almost as if your muscles punch back against attackers. Enemy attackers have a chance to suffer the stunned condition. Yep. Red dot sight. And the hatchet has broken. Now we have a wrench. It's apparently much weaker, but... You know, lasts a lot longer, I guess. I don't know. Let me think. There's a thing over there. We have this supplies. There's a lot for us to do here still. Didn't mean to do that. This feels light. Of course it does. All right, we got two. What else is here for us? Just this room, right? Do we have any more batteries left? I don't think we have any batteries left, do we? No, we just used uh, our last one to get that other thing. Can't open that anymore, which means I don't think we'll be able to get in here either. I mean, I guess we can, but the big thing is, is that, uh, we need a battery to activate the outpost thing, or the radio, rather. Oh, there is no radio in general. Follow me, guys. Yes, this way. Very good. Oh, boy. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so again, that was another 50 minute run. So that seems to be our, our about our average. Uh, we have we got we covered a whole bunch of supplies and knowledge there though, so it was pretty solid.
It's not bad. It's not bad. But okay, I guess it's a great spot to leave off the video, guys. It's a hour and a half long, so it's a little lengthy, but that's fine. On the next one, we're going to go as, let's see here. We want Jasper, Rowan McKinney, Caleb Wood. Let's go with... I mean, Jasper's got a handgun and a knife and a bottle of water. He's got a baseball bat and some healing stuff and tape. This guy has electronics and scrap. So we can make a battery. We get a knife. Let's go with Caleb just because we can make a battery. So we're in the next video. If you guys are still enjoying these videos, we'll start with a battery essentially. So that's pretty good. With that said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, leave a like on it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so that way you'll get notifications whenever we send out some new content, whether we're streaming or uploading videos. All the same, it would be great to have you. Looking for something? Supply Depot. Yep, this is where you'll make a difference. Let's see what this does really quick. Any amount of supply you can find sent back here will help. Still finding bags of supplies out there? The large supply caches are where the real payoff is. Supply caches? Herc dropped these towards the end of the last wave. They're big and hard to miss. Activate the beacon on them to set a meeker for, uh, marker for our repo crew. If you really need it, take the items in there for yourself. Okay, so what happens to supply? We'll let the volunteers decide what to do with it. Do with it. You assign it and we'll make it happen. Weapons and ammo added to the armory. New types of recruits. It's up to you. Everything you choose will help down the line. Take a look. Okay, so this is where we spend our supplies. This is where, you know, all 730 that we have make a difference. So we have... Med kits. Oh, so it helps us, uh, you know, start a run with some more stuff. Now, uh, when this volunteer dies, three random items from the inventory are transferred to the next volunteer. Interesting. Mac 10 drops. Interesting. G17 drops. 45 tack. Recipe for a war hammer. A cache of 762. Interesting stuff. I kind of want the war hammer, so let's get that. It's expensive, but I want it. 15 knowledge immediately? Sure. Bunch of crafting items. All right, cool. Let's get this. in that and then we'll save the rest so i think that increases like the drop rate in which we can find those throughout our playthroughs so that way you know in the future we have a better chance of uh finding some good stuff anyways guys i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching the videos i really appreciate it. i hope you're enjoying them if you guys continue to enjoy this game specifically then i'll continue making videos for it uh, there's more games coming out in the near future that i want to cover as well i'm looking forward to undungeon which i believe comes out just tomorrow so i'm looking forward to that as well Anyways, guys, I'm out of here for now. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys soon for more.